Now for users of electromagnet, uh, you need to know uh, circuit breaker, telephone earpiece, uh, electric bell, relay, and a lifting magnet. Okay. Now lifting magnet is not given in the slide. Okay. Lifting magnet actually is uh, is used to lift this uh, used car, used cars to make the scrap iron scrap. For example, sir, let's say if there is a car. Okay, an old car. Okay, no use already. You just want to uh, recycle the iron. Okay, this is a car. So if you want to move this car, you know, you want to move this car, lift it, and uh, put it on another place. Okay, and uh, then usually they use a lifting magnet. Okay, so they move this magnet on top of the car, and then they're on the switch. They're on the switch. Then uh, this thing become a magnet, so it will pull the car. Eh? It will, it will it will attract the car okay it will attract the car and then so then we leave it to the place that we want to put it and then we off the switch uh when we off the switch then this thing eh, okay the uh it, it become a non-magnet okay the magnetic field will cease and it become a non-magnet and uh, then this car will fall down okay this car will fall down that is how we use the lifting magnets to lift something. Eh? Okay, the something that we we, we move, eh? we want to move or we want to lift, it must be a ferromagnetic material. Eh? It must be ferromagnetic material. You cannot use this to to move rock, or you cannot use this to move a plastic. Eh? Okay, it must be a ferromagnetic material like iron, steel, nickel, uh, chromium. Okay, these three ferromagnetic material. Okay, that is for lifting magnet. Eh? Okay. Okay. The, the next thing that we are going to discuss is electric bell. Eh? Now, for this eh, electric bell relay, telephone earpiece, and circuit breaker, make sure that you understand it uh, properly. You, you really understand it because this may come out in essay questions. Eh? Okay, in essay question, they would they will ask you. Okay, uh, describe how uh, an electromagnet work in an electric bell. Okay, the working mechanisms of electric bell are dense. You must tell all the steps. Eh? Okay, so make sure that you really understand. Okay, uh, the 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 working mechanisms of this uh, relay uh, electric bell, telephone earpiece, and circuit breaker. So let's go to the slide and uh, okay, the first one is the electric bell. Okay, and the very first thing that you need to know is the label, eh? label or the name of each part of uh, this uh, electric bell the very first ones that you need to know is uh, this one okay this is called a gong this is called a gong and then uh, this is called a hammer okay so the hammer hit on the gong and uh, produce a sound right uh, the next one is a soft iron armature okay so here we have a soft iron armature so this soft iron will be pulled by the magnet eh? okay when uh, this current flow this thing become a magnet so this magnet will pull this soft iron armature and then uh, there's a spring here, okay? There's a spring here. So uh, if the hammer is pulled by the this uh, magnet uh, to hit the gong, then the spring here will try to pull it back, okay? The springs will try to restore the positions of this uh, hammer, okay? It hit, then the spring will pull it back to come back to these positions. And then there's a switch here. Uh, and uh, there's an electromagnet. Okay? You can see that there's a wire wind on a soft iron core. Okay, so this will make it an electromagnet. When there's current flow, then it become a magnet. So that is the labels. Eh? So now how it work? Eh? How it work? Uh, initially, there, there's no current. Eh? There's no current. There's a cell here. Okay, but there is no current flow. If you switch on a switch, eh? if you switch on a switch, then uh, currents will start flowing. Eh? There's current flow. So let's say the current flow, uh, let's say the, the current flow downwards, okay, and then uh, go here. So there's a current, there's a current flow. So the currents go here, and then the current go here, and the uh, currents go here, and go here, okay. So when you switch on the switch, yeah, the current will flow. And when the current flow, uh, this will become a magnet, right? So the electromagnet become magnetized, huh? and it become a magnet, it will pull this soft iron armature it will pull this soft iron armature and then uh, the hammer will hit the gong so the hammer will strike the gong now when the hammer strike the gong so this place uh, it will move to the left a little bit and disconnect
from uh, the switch here. This is another switch here, okay? Yeah, when the gong move here, so this place will disconnect. Eh? And if if uh, the circuit is disconnected here, then the currents will stop flowing. There's no current. Okay, the current will stop flowing, and when the current stop flowing, the spring will pull the hammer back to its positions. Okay, it will pull it, it back to its positions. When it pull it back to its positions, uh, then the current, then the circuit is connected again, then the current flow. Uh, the current flow then, it will pull the hammer to hit the gong again. So as soon as the hammer moves towards the gong, the circuit broken. Uh, the, the circuit is broken, so it's, it's disconnected here. So the current stop, and uh, the electromagnet loses magnetism, and uh, then the spring will pull the hammer back. Okay. And and then so when the pull back is connected again, okay, then uh, the it will regain the the magnet, okay, be, become a magnet, and then it will pull the hammer again, so, and this repeat and repeat and repeat again, uh, then make this uh, bell rang. So that is how it work, okay, circuit breaker. Now what is a circuit breaker? A circuit breaker is an automatic switch, yeah, it's an automatic switch, and uh, this automatic switch it will cut off the current. If the current become too high, okay. For example, if there's lightning or what, okay. Sometimes I think you have experienced this, okay. In your house, uh, suddenly the 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 main switch it jumped, it jumps and disconnect the circuits in your house, right? Okay. Now that thing is called a circuit breaker, okay. That thing is called a circuit breaker when there's a lightning or so sometimes uh, you use certain uh, electrical appliances, the current become too high. Uh, then the circuit breakers will function to disconnect the circuits. Okay, so there's a circuit breaker. It's, the, the, it's, a, it's an automatic switch that cut off the currents uh, when the currents become too high. Uh. Okay, so that's a circuit breaker. How a circuit breaker work? Uh? Okay, so here, there is a circuit breaker. There's a circuit breaker. From here, we can see that there's a wire here and there's a wire here. Okay, now this wire, these two wire connect to the circuit. Uh. These two wire connect to the circuit okay let's draw here okay so it will connect to the electrical appliances eh? okay which uh, is not seen here okay it's not seen here uh, normally okay the circuit breaker look like this eh? and uh, the current flow eh? if the current increase suddenly okay the, 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 the currents become very high eh? so when the current become high uh, what happens is that this magnet, it will become a stronger magnet. Yeah, it will become a stronger magnet. Then it will pull this armature. Okay, it will pull these armatures. Eh? So this magnet, it becomes stronger. It become a stronger magnet. So it will pull this, uh, this uh, soft iron armature. Okay, so, okay. So this is what happens. Eh? So this magnet, it will pull this soft iron armature. Now, when it pull this soft iron armature, uh, initially you see uh, this this iron, uh, okay, is uh, is blocking this the, the end of the switch here. Okay, there's a switch here, okay. So this uh, armature actually is a holding holdings or blocking so the switch here. Let me show you, okay. So it it hold and block the switch here. But if this armature is pulled towards the magnet, okay. So uh, then this spring. These springs will pull the switch up, okay? It will pull the switch up, okay? Then, uh, the circuit is disconnected, no current flow. Okay, uh, that's how it functions, eh? That's how it functions, okay? So when uh, the currents become strong uh, or high, so it will pull these uh, soft iron armatures, and then these springs will uh, pull the switch up, and then so it will disconnect the circuit. So that is how it works. Now, after the circuit is disconnected, yeah, if you want to reconnect it, so then you have this, this uh, there's a button here, okay, there's a button here. So if you uh, push the buttons, okay, if you push the buttons, uh, before you push the buttons, so you see there's a spring here, right? Okay, so this spring will, this spring will pull this, uh, this uh, soft iron armature uh, back to the position here. And then it's uh, holding the switch here and make it uh, disconnected. Uh, so if you want to reconnect, eh, so uh, you have to push these buttons down. Okay, you push these buttons down. 
so if you put push these buttons down uh, then it's uh, reconnect again and then uh, this soft iron armature will hold the end of the switch here again okay and it's re uh, reconnect so that is how it works okay? you need to know the, the the working mechanisms of this uh, circuit breaker Okay, you need to know the working mechanisms of these circuit breakers uh, because uh, this may come out in your essay questions.